As you probably know, some of the camera manufacturers have recently introduced digital correction for the chromatic aberrations of a lens. We lens manufacturers can get those aberrations down to a certain minimum level beyond which it's extremely expensive to go any further. Tolerances are very tight, but on very wide angle shots, particularly with a wide angle lens like this, you would like that to be that much better. And happily in the digital cameras, the camera manufacturers can implement that correction. It does call for information from the lens into the camera. And then as the lens is exercised with zoom, iris, or focus, that data must be changed. Now two manufacturers, Sony, both implement this in their contemporary cameras, but they use different techniques. One has the data inside the camera, and the other prefers the data on the chromatic aberrations to be inside the lens. We have a soft, new software platform in this digital drive unit that can handle either. As soon as the lens is coupled to those cameras, uh, the detection is made and the appropriate uh, interfaces are made. Accessing the data in the lens or accessing the data in the uh, camera. But in both cases, the data, the lookup tables, being manipulated in real time via the serial interface between the lens and the camera when the operator moves zoom, iris, or focus. So in summary, we have a very important lens that gives a beautiful 96 degree horizontal wide angle, very high, high definition performance, a 14 to one zoom range, new optimal mechanics that are friendlier to the camera operator, the all-important digital drive unit with the many attributes that I have described. Collectively, a very important new lens for the 2010 era.